How's it going, everyone? Welcome back. This is JR with the Hustlers Apprentice channel. Once again, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. And today I'm going to be discussing with you guys applying for the Amazon Prime Secure Card. Now, Amazon had this card a while ago, I believe like a year ago, then they discontinued it, but they started back up. So I just want to tell you guys about it who are looking to you know, to build your credit. A lot of us use Amazon, Amazon Prime a lot. So why not get this card? That way you can get cash back and things like that. So we'll get right into it. It reports to all three credit bureaus. They pull TransUnion or Experian. They're uh, backed up or financially backed by Synchrony, unlike their other Visa card, which is backed by Chase. So let's get right into it. Here's the process here. If you're approved, 2% rewards on Amazon purchases with an eligible Prime membership. You can deposit in $50 increments anywhere between 100, the maximum of 1,000. So that's what's going to show up on all three credit bureaus that uh, whichever limit you decide to choose based off of this $100 up to 1,000. <clears throat> After 12 months of responsibly building your credit, you may be eligible based on your credit profile to opt in to activate the store card. So basically, that means that you're able to graduate after 12 months to go from a secure card to an actual store card. And this is how you can actually build your relationship with Amazon should you choose to upgrade to the Prime Visa card in the future, which we'll go down and look at these. So if you actually do upgrade, it'll go from 2% here to the actual 5%. So that's how that works as well. Here are some things that it has here. It has a 10% APR, no annual fee, which is awesome. And this right here just basically shows the difference between the secured card and the store card. Deposit, yes. Obviously, this is unsecured, no. 2% as opposed to 5%. No, no uh, annual fee. APR of 10% for the secure card as opposed to 25.99 variable. Late fee of five bucks, late fee of up to 38 bucks. You don't want to pay. I mean, you should be on time because you guys are trying to build your credit anyway. So will I get your, will you get your deposit back? Yes, you'll get your deposit back if you, if you graduate. So it has some other things here as well. If you want to get into that terms and conditions as well. Like I said, I've been approved for this and I'll show you guys uh, the approval here shortly, but we'll just go through the actual application here. So we'll click on it. So once again, this shows you the information before you actually go into and apply for it, the difference. Once again, we are you would be ap applying for the Amazon Prime secured card. All right. So I already did a jump cut and skip past my personal info. So you just put in your date of birth, your social security number and your annual net income. If you guys have been following my videos or if you guys have purchased my credit building guide, it'll show you what you want to put in here to override the automatic algorithm. That'll cause you, you know, to be denied a lot of the times. Some of the things that they're looking for when you're applying is uh, multiple lates, delinquencies and things like that. I think the minimum, if you have around early 600 credit score, you shouldn't have a problem, but definitely 650 and above to get approved for this with no recent delinquencies or lates. So here we are. Here we are, guys. I was actually approved. It took me to this page where I can actually submit my deposit here. Just want to show you guys. Looks the same as the other page, but we're going to get into it here so you guys can see what it looks like once you, you are approved. Let's get into it. So here it is. As you can see, your application is approved 100 to 1000, 10 percent APR, zero annual fee. As we saw earlier, you would select the amount that you want to deposit and you would add your banking info. There will there also will ask for your if you for your ID in terms of your ID, whether that's a driver's license, they need an actual number to verify your identity. So frequently asked questions, things like that. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. I highly recommend this card to you, to you guys, especially whether you're building credit or not building credit. They are a little bit more liberal and forgiving than applying for the actual store card itself or even the Visa card. Uh, Chase is pretty, you know, 
they're pretty picky when it comes to getting their cards. And because of that Visa card is backed up by Chase, your credit needs to be in pristine condition, especially with that whole 524 rule going on. And I think that card falls under the 524 rule because it is a Chase card. So with that being said, I hope you guys like the video. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you want to book a one-on-one -on -one with yours truly and you'd like me to review your credit report to see what's the best course of action, whether it be repair or trade lines, hit me up on the link, my Cali link that's in the description. Also, check out my books, all available on my website, jrosswriting.com. I just released three, one on how to repair your own credit, one on how to build your credit with multiple lines of credit that give you instant approval. And also get, I also just put one out today on how to remove inquiries. So once again, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Make sure you share this video and I will catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.